Okay, take three. So this is a clip that starts with uh, David DeVries reading a short excerpt from the introduction to the book and then goes into a passage from uh, uh, the, uh, the, the May 2nd chapter. Uh, and it kind of uh, uh, captures the confusion uh, surrounding uh, everything that happened at Kent State. And I think it gives each of the readers a chance to, uh, uh, to shine. So here we go. At Kent State University in Kent, Ohio, student protests were met with the Ohio National Guard's occupation of the campus. And on May 4, 1970, the murder of four Kent State students and the wounding of nine others when National Guard troops opened fire on demonstrating students, as well as on some who were observing or walking to class. This book chronicles those four days in May 1970, when America turned on its unarmed children in their schoolyard and killed them. We screamed and hollered and chanted and watched the ROTC building, the symbol of war and hate, burn to the ground. That symbol of war and hate, the Reserve Officers Training Corps of the United States military has worked to keep you and the world safe for- The heat, the blaze, the power, the intensity. We were transfixed. We'd never been so close to such fire before. The night sky turned orange. It was beautiful. We'll never know who really burned down that building. We know. It was you. I'll bet it was you. And you wanted to pin it on us. You knew that building was going to be torn down that summer. We would never destroy property. We would never behave like you did. That's your problem. You sit there in your comfortable homes and eat your comfortable meals and sleep in your comfortable beds and let us fight your uncomfortable war while you make up stories about us to make yourselves feel better for doing nothing while the world goes to hell and you blame anybody but yourselves. You disgust us. They should have killed more of you. We are not going to go there. Not this time. Thank you. Continue. I will finish. The blaze was uncontrollable. The fire department came with sheriff's deputies, highway patrolmen, the National Guard. We were all risking our lives to put out your fire. Not the guard. They stood shoulder to shoulder, bayonets pointed at us. Keeping you back, keeping you away. And then they chased us. Chased. Us. And then the helicopters came. Oh my God, the helicopters. No, 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 that was Sunday night. The helicopters scared us shitless, right overhead, so noisy they drowned out our screaming, and so bright their searchlights swept over us and made us look like ants scurrying under their sweep. We began screaming at them, running from them, from you. Not one of us wanted to be there. You invaded our campus. You entered it without even telling university officials. Restoring the peace was our goal. Bullshit. Where were the campus police when the guard appeared? Chicken shits. Disrespectful. They turned the campus over to the guard. We had to defend ourselves. That's why there were kids with bows and arrows shooting at the guard. Excuse me? We ran past the archery hut and saw an opportunity to protect ourselves. Wouldn't you? Some of us burned the archery hut. You admit it. We burned it so kids would stop taking the bows and arrows and trying to kill the cops. You were all foolish. Who says? That college didn't belong to you. It belonged to the man. You could have just walked out. That's what we did. 1968. The Oakland, California police come to recruit on the Kent, Kent campus looking to hire graduating students from the law enforcement program. We said no. They tried to kill Huey. They hated the Panthers. They targeted our black brothers. So we protested, we walked out. Off campus, stayed off too, until the college made them leave. 
until we won. You think bows and arrows would have worked for us? You think burning buildings would have worked for us? It didn't work for you either. That's not the same thing. You wanted the university to change. You didn't want that? Where were they, these university deans? Where was your college president, Dr. Robert White? Gone. We know for a fact that Bob Matson, the university vice president of student affairs, met with students on Saturday. Where were the university police? Where were the people charged with protecting you? That's a good question. You were foolish. That was wonderful. That and was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, wow. That was fun. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, we're we're come on. We got to take it on the road. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that was powerful. Incredibly powerful. Yeah. Thank you all so much. No, thank you. Thank you.